The facility was opened in 1999. In 2010, we did an expansion. Pretty much doubled the size of the training center. We have 37 U.S. Coast Guard approved courses, 52 courses total that we teach here. All the instructors are U.S. Coast Guard mariners, either licensed captains, licensed engineers. In the training center, we have safety training and regulatory, a DP, dynamic positioning, STCW, firefighting is uh, advanced firefighting, Hewitt, big uh, jump we just made is we just got the Hewitt approval. If you take our Hewitt here, it's recognized around the world. We also do uh, hydraulic training and uh, oily water separated training, radar, radar unlimited, medical care provider. Uh, we got a, just a lot, a lot of training going on for our mariners. Basic firefighting, the first day is morning in the classroom, afternoon is search and rescue. We go into the fire field, we have a, uh, we call it the burn building. Basically it's a, it's a cabin of a vessel and living quarters or what have you. They have a, a galley scenario, engine room scenario, um, bunk scenario, electrical panel scenario, and then there's rooms in there that we, to do search and rescue. This fire field actually was here before the training center was here. So they were doing firefighting before this building even stood right here. And they've been training here for probably 16 plus years, firefighting. Well, as soon as first off, they're gonna come out here, like I said, do some hose commands, and then they're gonna uh, put out a fuel fire on that U-shaped pan uh, with an extinguisher. And then they back off into teams and they'll do a high pressure flange fire where they cool down and another student will shut a valve to control that fire. After the outside fires are done, we gear them up, put them inside. We do a bunk fire, galley fire. Uh, they take a little break. Next team does the same thing. When they back out, we got two teams go in and do an engine room fire also. So it's a kind of just a all around basic of what type of fires they would experience on the vessels. Bring the guys through, we teach them how to use a fire extinguisher. We teach them how to trust the gear, but we also teach them that all the gear they have, all the safety gear they have has limitations. Advanced firefighting is a little more in depth, a little more less. Uh, explanation from the instructors and it's more student involvement. So at the end of the day, if something happens on the vessel, they can actually help themselves and help save the vessel and the crew. To fly offshore, the majority of the companies want you to have Hewitt training. To fly overseas, you have to have cold water Hewitt training. PETO is recognized throughout the world. So we went for the PETO recognition that way it doesn't matter where we go, who we're flying for, what part of the world we're going. A little firefighting, a little uh, rescue boat operations, a helicopter, underwater e-gears training. At the end of the day, we get in the swimming pool, we actually put them to the Hewitt and we drop them a few times straight down and after that we start flipping them. And once, when they flipped over, they have to go through steps to get out and uh, rescue themselves, basically. DP is dynamic positioning, uh, which is the automatic control keeping abilities of the vessels. And we teach the two courses and they're both approved by the Nautical Institute. Originally it was developed in uh, 1961. It was the first DP uh, vessel was uh, recorded. And then over the years, it, it's to where you see it as it is today. This simulator has been set up um, or erected about four years ago, four and a half years ago. Right now we're in the instructor station. This is what we call the control room and this is where we execute all of our faults, failures. We control the weather, target ships, for example. We could use real life experience that happens among the fleet and create these faults and failures that happen on the vessels 
and also meet the Nautical Institute's uh, criteria. Here we have the awesome capability of actually taking our two full bridge simulators that are separated by the instructor station and working them in the same location. In the real world there are times you have simultaneously uh, operations, you have two vessels working the same drilling rig or same drill ship. So we also have the capabilities of running both simulators at the same time with two separate vessels interface together and then they can communicate as well and see how they respond as uh, among each other. To my knowledge, we are currently the only training center in the world who has this exact setup, uh, employing two full bridge simulators arranged the way they are. We have the ability to put the guys in situations where they have to react. That's the bottom line. They have to take some course of action or there's gonna be consequences. And we try to make it as realistic as possible. And all the equipment you see behind me is what we uh, actually, um, they have on the majority of the vessels. Very crucial, very, very important lessons learned here for these guys. One of the benefits of having a training center is uh, Coast Guard and NI and all these entities tell you you have to train to a certain level. But having your own training center, you could go above and beyond that training uh, level, which is what we do here. One of the things that we don't feel obligated is if a mariner comes here to take training, we don't feel obligated to give them a certificate because all the training we do here is free. I tell my instructors if the guy doesn't do what he's supposed to do, don't issue a certificate. You know, so that way we know that when our guys leave that we're, uh, we're trained to the level that we want them trained to. My instructor's a, a mariner, so we all lived it. We lived it out there. We spent time away from our families. We was in different situations out there so we could relate and pass that information on to our crew members. By having our crew members come here, they may have something that they could share with us and then we could pass it on to, to our, our fleet. We've never had anybody walk out the training center and tell us they didn't get nothing out of it. <laughs>